This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. We just witnessed Jeremiah's Ponce stop Lewis Ritson here in Newcastle. Eddie, one place to start. What on earth was that stoppage? Yeah, I, I mean, look, the, I don't think the stoppage affected the, the result of the fight or what was about to happen, but I've not really seen anything like that. I mean, you know, obviously the towel came in and he chose, cheers, mate, and he chose to ignore it. You know, he, he uh, I'll call you in a bit. He chose to ignore it and... Um, I guess it's up to the referee whether he, he accepts the towel flying in, but when it comes in from the corner, when it comes in from the father, generally you'd, you'd expect you know, it to be called off. So, uh, but it didn't affect the end result of the fight. You know, it didn't re affect what was going to happen. And it was a great performance from Jeremiah Ponce. You know, it was a strong performance from a good young fighter who I expected might run out of gas and might run out of ideas, but he just didn't stop letting his hands go. He hurt Ritson badly to the body in the first round. And you could see Lewis protecting that body for a lot of the fight. And, and he, was, he just said downstairs, I, I didn't feel any power to the head, but when he was hitting me to the body, he was hurting me a lot. And ultimately that was what caused the final stoppage. Jeremiah's Ponce was relentless. He was brilliant from the word go. You said he hurt him very early in the fight as well. How much good did Lewis Ritson show now? He took his licks yeah. before the stoppage. He did, and sometimes you don't get the credit for that. You know, I feel like sometimes, you know, fight fans, oh, it's a you know, hyped up and big ticket seller, but he fought a world-class fighter and he never stopped trying. You know, he could have jacked that in many rounds before. In fact, I think um, the referee had a word with a corner and said, you know, you should think about it. He wasn't winning many rounds in the fight. And I think he said to the corner, no, I want to I carry on. And he went out on his shield, even when the towel came in. He got up, he started trading and he went down and he went down three times, didn't he? So you've got to give Lewis Ritz some uh, massive credit and respect, but Ponce was just the better man on the night. We know this leaves Ponce. He's changed his life tonight. It looks like he's going to be able to fight for a world title at some point. What does this do for Lewis Ritson, though? Um, I think, you know, Lewis Ritson is where he is at the moment. He's uh, a fighter that's gone past domestic level and he's trying to make his way in the world uh, at world level and hasn't yet, you know. So you've got to keep trying. You've got to improve. You've got to look at what you want to do in the sport. He's very entertaining. He has a massive fan base up here. Um, but he's failed to get to that next stage, which is to fight for a world title. So, you know, is there domestic fights out there for him? You know, does he want to drop back to that level? Does he want to go for the European title against Sandor Martin? You know, there's other fights out there for him, but, you know, right now it's a kick in the nuts because he was looking to progress to that next level. Just to skim through the undercard quickly, Eddie, we'll start with Alan Babich. The fans loved him here tonight. He's declared himself a Geordie. It's going to be a fun journey with the Savage, isn't it? Yeah, he's great. I mean, everyone loves tuning in to watch him because you know exactly what you're going to get. I actually went into the change room before his fight and said, good luck, and he went, won the round. I went, no, whatever, just win, mate. He went, no, one round. And listen, fair play to Damien Chambers, who was under siege, and then actually in the third round started boxing well, and I thought, oh, you know, this is maybe what you need to do against Savage, get past the first two or three rounds. But it was a beautiful knockout that ended it. And, you know, he'll move on now, looks like, to fight camp. And, you know, he's going to be a lot of fun. I love the fact that he's talking about cruiserweight, bridgeweight and heavyweight. Because really, let's be honest, he is a cruiserweight. But he always just talked about the heavyweight division. So I think he just loves to fight. So roll on the next ones. Thomas Patrick Ward, great performance. I mean, look, he, he should be fighting for a world title now. He's not got a style that people are going to jump to take a chance against as, as a world champion. Um, Solomon Dacre's good performance I thought Cyrus Pattinson was fantastic and great support as well uh, good wins from April Hunter uh, good to see Joe Laws back winning as well so good night just obviously ended with disappointment with Lewis Ritson Just a couple more away from this card before I let you go Eddie uh, Joshua Usyk last caught you a couple of days ago been any movement at all? No um, we're waiting for the comments back from Team Usyk uh, I don't anticipate anything major um, you know that fight's due to take place in September so we've got a bit of time but obviously we'd like to wrap that up this week a few comments from Tyson Fury. Half of them were praising you, the other half not so much. He said you left an egg on your face yeah. following the collapse of Joshua Fury. Did you read into that? What did you see? I mean, he said I, I had egg on my face because I kept announcing the fight. Coming from the man who also announced the fight. I mean, you know, I'm a promoter. I get asked by you guys, whoever it is, 20 times a day. What's happening? What's happening? I was just honest with you throughout. You know, the deal's in a good place. It's done. It's approved by everybody. We're papering it. Everyone's on board. Tyson Fury came out to announce it. And it didn't happen. So I can't help people's um, inability to get jobs done. Um, we did all the right things from my point. I saw Bob Arum saying that it was, uh, I, we were asking for too much money from the Saudis. Just to, to, to put that straight, we all agreed as, as a, a, all the teams of what we should be asking in terms of the deal for this fight. We asked for it and I got it.
and that was it. No one went back for more money. No one tried to change the deal. It's all absolute bollocks. In fact, Bob Arum just needs to pack it in and go on. He's done. He's done. So um, it is what it is. I can't say anything more than that. Tyson Fury saw the nice things he said about me. Thank you very much. Good luck to him. And we'll do our thing too. Eddie, I'm going to leave the final word to you. This was the last show on that Matchroom Sky deal. A lot of great memories for you guys together over the years. Just your final comments on that. Yeah, it's been a tremendous partnership. You know, um, really the start for me of coming from, never coming from nothing, because I'm a Silver Spoon kid, of course, but coming from nothing in the boxing world and, you know, changing the face of the sport in this country with Sky. And we wouldn't have been able to do it without them. Um, thank you to, you know, the production team, the, the talent team, um, to the, the directors, you know, Jonathan Licht, especially Barney Francis, who put his faith in me a long time ago in an exclusive deal. And it just feels like time. It just feels like we need to just change the game. You know, we need to freshen up. Um, and I just needed a broadcast partner that, that could help me achieve my vision for the sport. And that comes with a lot of commitment, a lot of money, a lot of dates, and the ability to allow us to let us change our fighters' lives and give them opportunities they could only dream of and give our business opportunities we can only dream of around the world, you know, and our fighters. And, yeah, it feels right. It feels like the right time. I wish them all the best. They're a fantastic business. They're a fantastic platform. But it's time for us to change again. Eddie Hearn, thank you for speaking to Boxing Social. See you Monday for some very exciting news. We'll do. Cheers, mate. <laughs>